it may be lost forever. Oh, I might have it. I might actually have it. Wait, what is that? All right, first signal in the sand today with the little Xterra. Let's see what we've got. This one's reading about a 70 on the ID. Seems like it still might be in there. Oh, but wait a second. I see one right here. So maybe there's more than one. That's always a good start. First coin of the day, 2016 Abraham, just a penny. There's one over here as well. Hey, I'm happy to not start the hunt off with a bottle cap at least, so <laughs> that's pretty good. There's another coin right there. That one's a penny too. Crusty Zinkin. Whoa, my hat. <laughs> it's getting a little bit windy out here today. We're gonna have to fight with the wind, but the wind is a lot better than pure heat, I will admit. There's three coins out of that one little hole there. This one's reading a bit higher, it's a 78. There we go, is it a dime? No, it's just a slightly older penny there. It's a copper, 1977. Alrighty then, that's a decent little start there. A couple coins spill, can't complain about that one bit. There we go, there's our first dime of the day. 10 times better than a penny, right? That one's got a little bit of green crust, so it could have been sitting out here for a little while. Nothing too significant, but the coins are already starting to add up. Been out here probably only five minutes, so let's keep going. Hopefully the day continues on an upward trend. 20s. Ooh, there we go. All right, so far so good. This place actually has potential today. It's a 1976 nickel, so we've almost found every coin in the book. I mean, besides, of course, the elusive half dollar and dollar coin. So it's a little bit hard to uh, make out the conditions, but from what I can tell, there's a big hump of sand right here. So this is right at the wet sand line. There's a lot of seaweed and stuff washed up. I'm not really sure if the wet sand is going to be the play today or the dry sand, but to me as an amateur, this looks sanded in kind of. It looks like we really might not find much right here. But then it does look like there's maybe a little bit of like a low divot point right here. So we could maybe check in this little area. But anyways, enough talking and let's do some metal detecting, eh? See what we can find. Looks like we might have something down here in the wet sand. Let's see if we can, uh, actually extract it, see if it's a real signal down there. Actually got it out of the hole though. Pretty good. Target ID has changed a little bit. Let's see what we've got in here, eh? I think we got it. Take it to the water. Beautiful. Is it something in there? There it is. All right, seems to be a common occurrence today. There's plenty of these babies out here to be found, but I'm hoping there's something else. <laughs> That's another penny. Keep trying. There's something here in the water. It sounds different than a penny, so definitely gonna go for it. I don't know if it sounds good or if it sounds bad. <laughs> it sounds like something. Whatever this thing is, it's really deep and it's still hiding in the hole. This baby ain't gonna come out easy.
gonna be the silver and the balloon. All right, I finally got it out of the hole. Now can we actually get it from out of the hole? I kind of been uh, digging in the hole and just dumping it out next to the side of the hole, hoping eventually it would come out. I think it actually sounds way better now. I don't know. Let me make sure I don't have something already in the scoop here. Sounds like my signal has changed. I don't know if I have anything though. My signal seems to have changed a lot. There's a piece of a uh, sand dollar. All right, let's see if I can actually find it. I might see it down in there. What is that? I think I got it. Oh my goodness. It took me that long to get this. Hey, that's actually kind of a nice one, I think. It's a Disney. Uh, no stall. I guess it's a cars car. Can you guys identify that one? <laughs> hey, it made me work for that one. Let's, uh, let's continue checking out in the water. That was actually kind of fun. <laughs> we weren't defeated and that thing was really deep. So let's keep trying. We got a signal here. I'm kind of pushing my depth here on this uh, detector because I don't have headphones with me. I don't know, the tone is kind of questionable. Let's try to dig a couple scoops on it, see if we can get it out. I might have it in the scoop here. I didn't hear it in the hole. All right. It was sounding maybe a little bit crunchy there. It's just a, uh, a crustified bottle cap. That's a reality of metal detecting, you know? It's a good idea to check your scoop though, make sure there's nothing else in there. That can happen. Doesn't look like it though. So let's keep swinging through here. Keep trying. I actually didn't have plans to get in the water today. It kind of just happened naturally. <laughs> I didn't bring any, oh, that fooled me. I didn't bring any uh, headphones or anything out here, so I'm kind of just relying on the speaker to come through for me. There's the top of a can. The least we can do out here is clean up a little bit of trash, so plus one karma point there. Whatever this is, I just scooped it out of the hole. It's been kind of tough to get, a little bit challenging. I don't know, whatever this is, I can't really get it. I can't see. I don't know if we'll ever be able to get it out of the hole. It may be lost forever. Oh, I might have it. I might actually have it. Wait, what is that? Oh, I think I, I think I actually just got a bracelet, dude. I thought it was for sure gonna be a can. I think that is actually like a bangle bracelet, maybe. Is it silver or is it junk? <laughs> I was reading really high. It's kind of got a little bit of that black um, patina on it. It could be actually silver. Nice, dude. I almost gave up on that thinking I was going for a can. A lot of the times the uh, can signals are similar to these, you know. I'm not really sure what it is, though. Let's just save time on that one, add it to the pouch, and keep on swinging. It's definitely a piece of jewelry, so that's pretty good. Big old bracelet there. Here's another good one in the water here. It seems like it's uh, pretty hard packed down here, which I think is a good sign for the water. For scoop, possibly. Uh-oh. I either have another one or I missed it. <laughs> oh, okay. So it looks like we did get one of them there. It's a dime. That one looks really fresh, huh? 1996. 
just dropped about a day or so ago, I would say. What about this other one over here? Kind of sounds similar. There's another one. 20 cents, man, in that little area. Pretty good. Is that all? Looks like that's it. The thing about when you're uh, metal detecting the beaches like this, keep your eyes out in the scoop because you might be able to evil, even find like kind of a cool shell or something, you know? Potential shark's teeth or anything. Has anyone ever been metal detecting in the water and then pulled something out that they didn't know they were going for? Kind of curious about that. Might have something else in this one. Yep, there's another one. Coins are coming out. There's another penny, 2015. Don't think I got anything on that one. Missed it. Okay, there's another one. Seems like I'm in like a little coin spill here. Here's a 2022. I don't think I've ever really found a ring or jewelry like right with a coin spill, but maybe it could happen. Like if they maybe took off their ring or jewelry and maybe put it in their pocket with the coins, you know, then maybe you could find some jewelry with some coins, but not really sure. Most of the time when I'm finding coins, the rest are just probably gonna be coins. There's another one. It's not too barnacleized yet, I guess, which is pretty good. It's only 17. Another dime right here. Oh yeah, this part right here looks super sanded in. I don't know about this one, it's kind of low on the ID. It's getting a little bit windy out here. Sorry about the wind noise, fellas. Hopefully uh, you can handle it. <laughs> there we go. First one of those guys out here. I've probably been out here about an hour now. I tried my luck in the water. We got only a couple coins, so I think I'm actually gonna go back up into the dry sand maybe. Check out the dry. I thought that this area kind of looked sanded in, but I don't know, I might be wrong, <laughs> or it is sanded in, but I'm actually just still getting some signals right here. I think it's right here. There we go. It's a quarter. It actually looks pretty fresh though. It's not super crusted and corroded, but well, there's another 25 cents. Let's continue down this little seaweed line here for a couple minutes, see if there's anything hiding take a little bit of trash with us here pool tab this one is a seven little piece of aluminum aluminum seal Back up into the dry sand now. I think we're gonna spend a little bit of time up into the dry. There's definitely a lot more signals up here. Doesn't mean that the signals are gonna be better, but there's definitely some beeps. This one sounds pretty good, close to the top. Okay, there we go. 
found one of these out in the water now comes time to find a few in the dry as well little toy cars is always kind of a good sign shows you people have been out here playing enjoying the sand that one's almost like a little dune buggy or something made in indonesia all right i don't have headphones and this one is pretty much past the point of no return but it's a super high ringer Let's see if we can get it yeah i can barely hear it is that it yep that was my signal right there it's just like a piece of pipe i don't know what it is i'm glad i got that out soon because that thing would have been a pain in the rear trying to get in the scoop Add it to the pouch, big old pipe. Might have it. Oh man, it's not much different than a pull tab. Actually, it's just a pull tab, unfortunately. Some cool shells and whatnot, but unfortunately, the pull tab Maximus has fooled us. <laughs> Gotta keep on going, man. Optimism is everything. Keep on swinging. That wave just toasted me. <laughs> Good thing I got waterproof equipment. <laughs> that thing just toasted me, brother. All for a freaking pull tab, man. <laughs> uh, you know, I will be honest with you, though. It is nice to make my way back down to a real beach. Even if you don't find nothing, just the waves and the scenery is super nice out here. You gotta appreciate your surroundings, you know? It's not always about the treasure. This kinda is the treasure, right? Big old pelican looking for some food out there. All right, I've been trying. I got one down here. It's not the most promising on the ID, but I'm definitely gonna dig it up no matter what. Doesn't sound like iron, so that's good. Let's see what it is. I think we got it out of the hole. Come on, fellas. Oh, come on with that. Dude, it's a lithium ion battery. <laughs> I would have rather taken a penny than that kind of afraid of these things man I'm afraid of spontaneous combustion that thing looks like it's about ready all right I'll add it to my pouch hopefully it doesn't catch fire some karma points lithium battery come on all right this one took forever but I finally got another one and actually I'm just using the screen in vibrate mode right now I was alerted because it vibrated it's a 55 this is gonna be a challenge though. Let's see if we can get this bad boy out. I'm actually pretty deep out here right now. Come on, baby. First one in a long time. Still in the hole, I still feel it. I don't even hear it, I feel it. I might have it out, I can't really tell. Hopefully brother what <laughs> uh, cleaning up the ocean man seems like that's realistically what I do I don't know if I really treasure hunt I think I am uh, I'm more of an ocean cleanup crew I'm pretty sure big old piece of aluminum slide him in the pouch keep swinging it's kind of a bouncy one I can barely see the ID it's bouncing 24 kind of low whoa I'm getting spanked around by the waves, though. Come on. <laughs> I'm too deep. I might have him. I might. Maybe. Don't see anything. Let's make sure absolutely 100% that I do not have it in here. I don't think that I do. I have it. 
dude well i pulled it out i was a battle for one of those that's for sure it's an old ring pull right there pop top beaver tail whatever you want to call it <laughs> some junk universally that's some junk certainly that one was tough to get out too i think i got it no i might be on the light line i'm not really sure there's another old one of those uh pop tops son of a some barnacle shells and whatnot too All right, spent a lot of time in the water. Didn't really get rewarded today, unfortunately. So I think I'm gonna spend the rest of my time up in the dry and wet sand. Um, I really need to get maybe a pair of waterproof headphones for this machine. I think actually my headphones for the uh, Xterra Pro should work. So next time I come out here, I should probably bring those if I wanna actually go in the water. Piece of aluminum right there, some scrap. So. Let's see possibly if uh, the dry and the wet sands got anything for us. I was actually pulling out a lot of coins when I first showed up here, so let's check it out. 31. Sounds awesome. <laughs> Don't they all sound awesome? I think I've uh, completed the cycle of these today. There's the rare blue pull tab. Pennies, baby. <laughs> Man, ain't no shortage of pennies out here. A little piece of something in there. Reading a four. Gotta dig these up, man, if you want the chance for some gold. Wait a second. What do we have? I don't know, I don't think I've seen one of those before. It's a Duvalin. Duvelin. What is that? Oh my goodness. I think that's actually a ring on my way out. Holy freaking moly. Oh, it's an earring. <laughs> Trolled me. People walking around me now. Is that legit? I don't know if that's legit or if that's a fool. Kind of looks like a fool, maybe. It's kind of shiny. I don't know, it's definitely a lucky one though. It's just about to head out of here. We got a little earring, man. We got a little earring. We'll check it out, see if it's got any markings on it. Thought we had the freaking golden ring right there for a second. Sounds pretty good, but I think it's small, maybe? I don't see it. Oh, I think it's a little piece of shrapnel out of some beach equipment. Some yunk. All right, we'll catch you guys at home. See what we got on the wrap up, hey? Eh? Come on, last one on our way out. All it takes is one. Is this the one? Another one of those, pull tab. So one of the earliest metal detectors that I had was called the Garrett Ace 200. And it actually came with this little magazine here called Garrett's Favorite Finds. Uh, when I first got into metal detecting, realistically, this magazine like motivated me and incentivized me a lot to get out there and look for some treasure. There's like a lot of cool finds in here that people have posted. I think I even saw a Nugget Nugget in here somewhere. But um, right here, I would say, this is probably on the top of my bucket list. Uh, I don't really hunt too many old locations, but um, I feel like a gold coin actually in a bezel like that has potential to be found in a modern environment. You know, maybe at a beach or if you're extremely lucky, maybe in a park. I think we all dream about finding the huge honking gold and diamond ring. Uh, 
Lance P. says he decided to buy an AT Pro, and his wife lost her wedding ring in a small pond. Okay, so this was actually a recovery that Lance did. That thing is absolutely beautiful. Look at this one up here. Bill W., congratulations on that find. Wedding ring valued at $4,600 with an Ace 250. All right, so here is our finds for the day. Obviously, we cleaned up quite a bit of trash. A lot of these pieces of can were actually just hiding out in the water. So, got a lot of really sharp, crusty, and potentially rusty pieces of metal out of the water. Big old pipe right there. A couple more cans. Got some uh, assortment of bottle caps here. A lot of just random little pieces of metal too, you know, assorted stuff. Pole tabs. Got a couple little shells here. So the coin haul today was actually pretty good, I would say. We got a decent amount of dimes, a couple quarters, and a whole buttload of pennies there. Uh, you know, the assorted pieces of trash. Got a beautiful little car right there, and then another one over here. But then for the find of the day, I would say it's probably tied between these two pieces. This little guy came out kind of luckily on the way out. I thought actually I had a gold ring on this one. I was a little bit excited. But this is like a gold and diamond earring potentially not really it might be actually gold plated and the diamonds well they're probably gonna be fake whoops i did actually when i got home though i did see a little marking in there i thought for a second it was marked uh, 14k or something but i think it might be marked cw so not really sure about that one nothing too impressive there and then this is that bracelet that I found out in the water. If you guys can tell now that it's out of the water, uh, unfortunately, I don't think it's going to be silver there. But that's still kind of a cool bracelet. I thought this was going to be one of these because the signal was actually kind of similar, you know. So I was definitely happy and surprised to pull this out. Cannot complain one bit. So if you guys happen to make it all the way to the end of this video, if you guys appreciate my attempt out there, sincerely appreciate a thumbs up on the video. Let's me know that you guys enjoy them. If you guys didn't enjoy the hunt, you don't want to see any more from me, you can hit it with a thumbs down too. It is a free country, right? We still have the ability to uh, express our opinions pretty freely, I think. So hopefully you guys enjoyed it let me know if you guys want to see some more beach metal detecting videos because i'm about ready to head out there right now <laughs> so thanks for hanging out with me you guys hope to see you soon